I'm back. I missed you so very much, and I am so very sorry that it has been so long since we have spoken. So, um, today I have a really cute package from Diamond Art Gift. So make sure when you're done watching this that you go click down below and go check out their website because they have some really, really cool stuff and some new kind of stuff. So let's do, we'll save the new stuff for a second. Um, yeah. So I think this said, I need to just like quit saying things because I rarely keep my word and I say I'm like not gonna do anything anymore or you know what I mean like oh no I won't buy any more yarn I've got plenty I've got plenty of patterns I don't need any more patterns I won't buy any more patterns. I told my husband this last night I spent <sighs> hear me out I spent $20 on patterns last night but it is a set it's not really a set I created the set because these were the pieces I wanted but it creates a nativity okay I have been watching this creator for probably close to two years because I've wanted these particular Nativity set. She's got Mary Joseph and the baby Jesus. She's got the three wise men. She's got the three camels. She's got the little drummer boy and the angel. And they are just the cutest. They're kind of simple and they're just really nice looking. I've seen some others that are either like way too big or way too small or they just look a little creepy in the face. So I have been, I've had these, these particular, um, patterns saved in my favorites list for the longest time. I'm, I'm not joking when I say two, I'm not exaggerating when I say two years. Um, so I got a notification from Etsy that she was having a sale. I was like, Ooh, yay. I'm expecting 25% off. Cause that's usually what her sales are. And I've never, I, I, my original thought was, well, I'll buy one here and one there and one there. Cause they're like 10, $12 a piece. Yeah. So that's, it's six, six or seven I think it was seven patterns that I bought last night so I ended up spending twenty dollars because she was having a seventy percent off sale seventy percent off it's unprecedented I've never seen her in the time I've been following her have a seventy percent off sale so I put them all in my cart and I met, took a picture of it and I messaged Steve and I said I know this is a lot to spend on patterns because I usually, I'm like $2 here, $3 there. You know, it adds up, but still, I'm never more than $5 on a pattern at one time. That's just one of the rules I have with myself. I, I don't I don't pay more than 5 or $6 for patterns. I just, I don't know, I'm just cheap, I guess. But um, anyway, if I was making more money selling what I crochet, I would definitely spend more money on patterns, but I digress. Back to my original point. Um, so I messaged him because he's at work. So I sent a message. I'm like, I know I don't do this. And that's why I'm asking you because it's out of the norm. I was like, would you be too mad at me if I spent $20 on these patterns? And then I took a picture of the total and the amount saved was like listed on there. So I was like, well, that's going to help me a lot. He's like, yeah, go ahead and do it. I knew he would say that, but I just wanted to like check with him like, give myself permission. You know what I mean? I wasn't asking him for permission, but I was kind of like wanting him to tell me, yeah, it was okay that I could spend that much money on patterns at one time. <laughs> I'm a dork. I know. But anyway, so when I like looked back at what the screen showed me, it was telling me I was saving over $65. Okay, so that's $80 in patterns. Is that 70% off? Anyway, yeah. So now 
I have to get off my little rear end here. Now, that's not counting all the other patterns that I've bought that I haven't made yet. It's just so bad. It's so bad. And then I sign up for these tester calls. I can't resist. They're just so dang cute, and the people are so creative, and I want to make them all, and I don't have time, especially now that school is back and volleyball is back. I just feel like I just don't have any time anymore. I'm running out of time with you. I need to stop. I need... I need somebody to stop me. So when I say, I'm not going to buy this anymore, or I'm not going to buy that anymore, I really need to just button it and reword myself and say, I really shouldn't, or I will try not to, because I know I'm going to mess up. I always mess up. But this month, this is my... And you know, send me messages. Keep me in check. Check on me throughout the month. I'm telling you. I won't mind. Leave me comments. Send me emails. Leave me a note on, on Facebook. Leave me an um, Instagram message. I love getting emails from you guys. I really, really love it. Um, so anyway, so keep me, keep me, keep me, keep me. Um, what's the word? Hold me accountable. That's what I'm trying to think of. I... I am pledging to not buy any yarn because I was supposed to do that last month and they came out with new colors and they came out with Halloween themed yarn that's like variegated. Gorgeous. So I lost stash bust September. I, I bought Oh my God, I think I bought like 20 skeins of yarn. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I can't buy any yarn this one. So anyway, my pledge to myself, to my husband, to my bank account, and to you, my friend, I'm not buying any yarn, I'm not buying any patterns, no matter how cheap, they may become. <sighs> anyway, are you tired of listening to me? See, this is what happens. I'm all like <sighs> discombobulated because of some like serious volleyball drama that happened tonight. And I'm just like, I'm like up to here and I'm just blabbering, and you're probably already gone by now because you don't want to listen to me anymore. Ugh. Anyway, so here we are from Diamond Art Gift. Hold your horses. I'm going to show you this because it, just, it never fails. It's always something. Now, there's a big mess over here. Just avert your eyes. Huge mess. There sits the queen on my notebook. This is this is where I keep track so I know whose who's video to tell you that we're doing. So my, my note is like up here. <laughs> see, my note was up here. <laughs> did you see that smack? I don't think she drew blood this time. No, Binks got me this afternoon. I was playing with him, and he gets so crazy. Come here, Elsa. Oh, come here. Oh, now she's leaving. Come here. Come back. Didn't mean to make you mad. I'm surprised I didn't get claws on that. That was just a little poop. But Binks got me good. This did not want to stop bleeding, and this bled really good. So I actually had a Band-Aid on this for quite a while. You can actually see the punctures. Uh, that was a scratch. That was a puncture. He was like... When he bites down, he like gnaws. He doesn't just bite and release. No. No. He latches on, grabs on with both paws, and is like... <laughs> he is a psycho! Anyway. All right. So, on topic for the rest of the video, I will try my best. So, like I said, this is from Diamond Art Gift. 
And these are <clears throat> what I usually do when I uh, am placing an order for you to watch. Um, I will go into the website and I will click on new arrivals. And then, ooh, sorry, that came out of nowhere. I click on new arrivals. And then when that pops up, I click on where it says like featured, um, date new to old, date old, uh, old to new, um, date or price low to high, price high to low, you know, those, that little box. Well, I always click on that because it almost always says featured and I'll click on that and I'll click newest. So that's how I do my shopping because I want to bring the stuff that they're just getting in, even though it takes me usually, um, from the time I place my order to the time I do the video is usually about a month with the way shipping is and sometime with my schedule. So I always try to do like the new stuff. So these items that I have for you tonight, today, it is tonight, it's, oh, it's eight o'clock already. Yay. Um, yeah, the whole day is gone. Yay. Haven't accomplished enough. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's how I shop. So by the time I get it um, and show you, maybe you've already seen this style or this particular item, but the website should still have it listed under the new uh, newest category. So if you're ever just wanting to look and see it like that, I don't know if you paid attention to how the websites are set up, but um, there's hair everywhere. Um, but that's what I do. So over, usually on the um, left hand side, <laughs> the left hand side of the website, it'll usually say new arrivals. And then usually on the website, most of them are set up fairly similar, which if you've been to several, you will know. Um, and then usually on the right hand side, kind of mid screen is where that featured box drop down boxes where you can click on newest and and anyway that's how that's how i shop because i want the new stuff unless there's something that i'm like particularly looking for then i will go through and like just click on the old stuff or to a search or whatever but anyway so we have another set of keychains also known as ornaments for me so they came with the ball chains and they came with the lobster clips that they always come with. So that, what are you doing? Oh. Okay, good. Okay. You might want to come back and want look at these after I show them. You might be interested in these. So these are adorable double-sided, nice, thick milled acrylic, thick mill. Is it milled or mill as in millimeters? Maybe it's milled. Anyway, so this is the first one. Hi, Bubba. Hi. I have shorts on, guys, by the way. Look at him. He is looking himself naked. Look at his belly. Ow, he bit me. <laughs> Look at his arm. Look at that. All his beautiful black furries. He's he's gonna bite. He's naked naked in himself. He doesn't he can't stand his belly being touched. So this is the second one. I think this one's my favorite. She is super cute with her rainbow and her little bubbles. What do you think, guys? They're pretty Look, cute. Emily's new warm-up shirt from her newest uh, YMCA team that she has moved to. So we have this one. Look at the little bears. They're so cute. So stinking cute. And this one is adorable. I like this one a lot too. Look guys, it has my name on it. <laughs> and this one is really pretty. This would be cool if I had enough um, gold, like the actual metallic gold rhinestones to do the moon and everything with. Yeah. And the little butterfly. 
Aren't they cute? So what do you think? You like them? He's a little creepy looking at me like that. No, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about yeah. the I'm talking about the kitties. Like you like the Hello Kitties? I got them for you. Thanks. What's that? Is that Corbin? Yeah. She's got she's got court burn on her elbows and she actually tore a hole in her arm sleeve sliding on the court. I have scars on my knees. Last week. Her knees are scarred beyond repair. Wow. Volleyball is dangerous. Oh, she got hit in the face with the ball on Saturday. Snapped her glasses clean off. Yeah, that was fun. I guess what my coach would say. And she, yeah, her coach didn't even ask her if she was all right, nothing. You know, she yeah, had, I can see later. she had a red lump, you know, never did, it didn't bruise, so that's good. But she had a red mark on her cheekbone from where her frames hit her face. The lens snapped off. The lens? The I mean, the, the earpiece snapped off. Oh, I have these in my ears. And that jerk had the nerve. Oh, let's Sorry, that's that's part of the drama that's going on is it has to do with the coach. But he tells her, or he asks her, um, do I need to take you out or are you going to be able to see? Almost like. Before I could answer, she answered him for me or for herself. But I was like, dude, you take her out of the game, I'm going to be pissed. Ne never once did he say, are you okay? You know, are you hurt? Do you need to rest a minute? I, t I walked off court. I was like, I need to go. I need to go out. And I showed my ass out with my glasses and looked at me. She walked off the court during a game. Didn't even wait for her sub to go back in. Well, and she came over to us, her parents. And I'm like, I'm, you know, like, oh my God, are you okay? Because, you know, you can see them. It takes a lot to break a pair of glasses, people. That ball is coming at you fast. And that jerk didn't even have the decency to say, hey, are you okay? No. Anyway, moving on from that. Um, I said I wasn't talking about volleyball. <laughs> you get me started on my kid, and we're going to have some problems. Two. Oh, I might wait till tomorrow because I'm too mad right now. I might wait till tomorrow. I don't know. I might say some things I shouldn't. So here are the drills for Hello Kitty. I love this color right here. Oh, look, it matches my nail. <laughs> How funny is that? It actually matches. And we all know what this does for me. It makes me very happy that the rhinestones are in their own individual little bags. And they have the little teeny tiny stickers that are labeled with the symbol on these keychains. It has an item number, but the item number is nowhere on the keychain, so that really doesn't do much good. So um, it also has the rhinestone number there and the weight of what's in the bag. And it looks like there's two separate identification numbers. That's interesting. So this little tiny number here and this number down here are the same on each sticker. So you've got your, um, the only thing you need to pay attention to is the symbol here on the corners. And if you are keeping your rhinestones by number, not a lot of companies send them numbered. Um, so I don't even bother. I just kind of eyeball it as far as, for the ones I save, I eyeball it to see if the color is like, close because you know the colors are not the same they are all a little bit different so I just eyeball it and put the ones that are closest together together the close closest in shade I just go ahead and mix together because when you're putting them on a painting that extra shading is going to give more dimension so I don't worry too much about that um next eeny meeny miny mo. What is this one? These are really cool. I'm excited to try these because I'm I am not a reader. I do not sit down with a book or a Kindle um, and just read literature. 
I read a lot of patterns. I do a lot of counting. But I do not sit down and read a book. If I sit down to read a book, it puts me right to sleep. I fall asleep. I have no idea what I've read. I gave up probably high school when I absolutely had to read stuff for assignments, you know, the, the um, Great Expectations and To Kill a Mockingbird and what was the other one that we had to read? That was in high school. We had three books we had to read in high school. It was Kill a Mockingbird, Great Expectations, and... That's annoying. I can't remember. Mrs. Habersham was Great Expectations, right? And then To Kill a, Mock to Kill a Mockingbird, I absolutely loved. That is the only book that I have read cover to cover more than once. Um, watched the movie a dozen times or more. That would be a cool one for them to remake, but I know it would never go over very well in today's world. Anyway, so I don't read, but I have notebooks that I keep lots of lists and um, like little notes and stuff, especially like when I'm testing a pattern, I have a section in my notebook where I'll be, I'll take notes because the purpose of testing a pattern, sorry, I have to keep slowing down my, I'm, anyway, um, if you're not familiar, if you are, I apologize, but the purpose of testing a crochet pattern after it is first written is to make sure that there are no grammar mistakes, no spelling mistakes, no wrong word, no spacing errors. Um, make sure that the, the row actually adds up to the stitch count that the designer has put there, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of fine tuning, a lot of tweaking. Now, probably 85, 90% of the patterns I test have very little feedback that I need to give to um, the designer. I don't know why I keep doing this. I apologize. It's probably annoying. But um, yeah, so I have I have several notebooks. I have a list of the test projects I am currently assigned. I have a list of the test projects that I applied for and if I get them or not. Um, then I have the section in my notebook where I take notes as I'm doing the pattern test. And then I have another section in a notebook where I've started writing my own patterns. I have two patterns that I have written that I'm afraid to go any further with. But anyway, so these little cuties will work very well for me personally in my notebooks because it's a pocket. Oh, plus, plus I have my diamond painting notebook too. So this is my notebook where I keep track of all the orders. This is, there's a, there's patterns written down in here too that I need to move, but there's pages that have been colored for me that I save in here. There's a couple of notes from some of you in here. Those are certificates for Emily that need to go in her scrapbook. But anyway, so I can't, this is this is my book. So regular bookmarks don't work because they just fall out. So these, we're gonna test them right now because I'm anxious. And this, I need I need a new notebook. Look at that. That's all I got left in this notebook. It's crazy. So there, he's upside down. That's going to bug me. But let's do this. Let's just do a couple of pages and see if that makes a difference. I was really excited when I saw these because I, I always, I don't like dog earring pages. Well, but if the notebook is closed, which theoretically notebooks should be closed when you're not using them, right? Except for me, who leaves it open all the time. I do. Oh, <laughs> okay. These certificates, I thought they were in a pocket, but they are just like stuffed behind. Oh, there's my sticker. I have been looking everywhere. I bought this to go put it on my back window in my car. I've been looking everywhere for it, and it was in the back of my notebook. 
we'll move that over there. Anyway, so the notebook is closed. This is a, a, a good example, I think, of most notebooks, especially if they've got the little pockets in them. It's got other stuff in it. So this, don't flap your notebook. Now I lost my page. Okay, so if you really flap your notebook, it's gonna come flying off. But most people don't treat their notebooks as violently, I hope. But yes, oh look at that, there's my page. Um, so yes, these are super cute, and I really hope you are still watching because I just realized how much, it is 25 minutes into this video and you have yet to see what these bookmarks look like. I'm so sorry. I love you so very much. Thank you for being here. Okay, so I will show you. They're upside down though. That really, really bugs me. Because, why? Anyway, all right, so this is Stitch. And this is, this is a really nice, it's like a pleather, I guess you could call it. It's got a really nice, um, like a felt backing and it is a smooth, Kind of leathery feeling fabric. And then this is acrylic. And you can see it is sewn on the two sides. So it should be pretty secure. So you can see there where they've backstitched on both edges. So it hopefully it won't unravel. So let's see. Oh, this is a little bit different. I thought it was the same, but it's a little bit different. You see his little hands on this one. And then we have these two. It's hilarious with it. Look at his teeth. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And look at him. I love this pose. He's just the cutest little thing. So cute. So we have those and it comes with rhinestones. So you can see here are the rhinestones and there's his little teeth are teardrops. So he's gonna have little pearl teardrop teeth. And there should be a heart in here. Oh, I see it. It is a fuchsia. There you can see the color. So that's the heart that will go on there. So let's get the other set out and I will let you go. Because I... I wasn't gonna film this video when we got home because I was so annoyed with what happened tonight. But I I didn't wanna keep you waiting any longer without a video. And I was thinking, I'm gonna get my mind off of it. That part didn't work. So where is the flap on this bag? For real, there we go, okay. <coughs> anyway, um, so on to kind of a serious note, just briefly, only for a second. Um, we are okay after the hurricane. We lost power for 12 hours. We luckily have a generator, so we did not lose everything in our refrigerators and freezer. Freezers. Um, yeah, we have a generator, we have a window AC unit, so we just kind of like rearranged. We pushed the table over that way and we pulled the couch this way because the AC unit sits in this big window that we have right here. That is usually the glare that you see on everything. But um, yeah, so we were okay. We lost a big tree branch, probably about this big around, snapped off of one tree. And the neighbor's tree up here just like shed a lot of, you know, small branches, nothing big, nothing. Nice. We are so blessed and I am so thankful that we were spared and I have done nothing. <sighs> nothing but pray and cry for the people that have lost everything. So, um, I just wanted to put that out there that we are okay and I hope you are too because this is devastating to everybody. Sorry, I didn't think I was gonna start crying. 
But anyway, I hope that you are okay after this storm because this storm affected so many people. So much more than any other storm, I think, um, in a very long time. So anyway, we're good. I hope you're good. Let me know down in the comments. And yeah, so moving on. He makes me smile. So we have, and he's upside down too. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go back in. See, this is what happens. I see something, it's cute, and I'm just like, oh, oh, I have to have it. That's why I have so many crochet patterns. I'm, I'm pointing a lot tonight, aren't I? I'm just so, mm. um, yeah, so he's upside down. But I need to go back in and look and see if the others are upside down. Oh well, he's still freaking adorable. And he, you know what? Oh, this just dawned on me. Oh, that would be kind of cute. You could, if you needed like a post-it note holder or something, you could glue this onto your notebook. Oops, sorry, your notebook. Probably on the cover would probably be the better choice. So you could like glue glue one of these on the cover of your notebook and then you could put a post-it notepad in there. That's another use for sorry, I put it again. Sorry. Um, but yeah, that just dawned on me. That way he wouldn't be upside down. But otherwise, he goes on just like the stitch ones. It's a little flimsy, so you probably do need both hands to do this. But you can see there, and if you're just, you know, walking around just daily, whoo, I almost spilled my tea. Um, you know, not flapping it like a maniac like I did, but just like normal carrying and maneuvering, and it stays on. So you can either do it like that, or you could do it where, you know, the pages are inside, wherever you need a page held. Anyway, I always got to try to figure out other ways to use things. That's just my M.O. So here are Grogu. Now my nose is all red. Ooh, excuse me from crying. Being emotional. Hey, you just can't help it. Cannot help it. And there is Mando with the babe. And the babe in his little capsule. So those are super, super cute. These are also rhinestones. And oh, oh, this definitely makes me laugh. Hang on. We need a few more minutes. Just bear with me, please. <laughs> this is hilarious. If you've been around for a while, you hopefully know what I'm getting so excited about because this is something racks me up. I absolutely loved putting these on cards when I made cards. And if you like go around my house, I don't know, we may have taken most of them off. Maybe not. There's some like scattered. Emily, when Emily was like six or seven, maybe eight, she went around the house and put these on random surfaces. Okay, how do I get this off? <laughs> there we go. There needs to be like a little pull tab. Oh, oh, they sewed the... Hmm, I wonder if I should just rip it off. I really don't want to yet because it may not stay on here. Let me see if I can just do it like this. Hang on, bear with me. Oh no. No, it's in the wrong place. Emily's got some scary sounded music coming from the bathroom. Sounds like a horror movie or ghost show or something. She doesn't usually watch those. Although, I take that back. She watches um, 
Sam and Colby? Is it Sam and Colby? They do abandoned, huh? abandoned and ghost videos. Look! <laughs> I love googly eyes. They just crack me up. And I know I'm a weirdo and I'm a goober. And I don't care because it makes me happy. Look at him. <laughs> so stinking cute. So yeah. So I have a cat cookie jar. I have. I only have a couple of cookie jars. But my mother-in-law actually gave me this cat. It was. She had the whole like collection of you know the spoon rest and the cookie jar and the canisters and all that kind of stuff. And it had got, come down to all she had left was the cookie jar. And I was there one time, and she's like, here, I'm giving you this. I was like, oh, my God. She's, like one, she's not one of those people that you can tell if they really like you or not. But anyway, so I have a cat cookie jar. And Emily put these big googly eyes on the cat, and it was hilarious. And one of her baby pictures, she put googly eyes on herself on the, in the, on the frame. Hilarious. And where else did you put them? Oh, she put them on the back of the remote and surprised her dad. Um, and the spaghetti jar. So oh, yeah, the, the spaghetti jar now has eyes. That's They're still on there. Our dryer had eyes for a while. See? They've been on there for years. It just cracks me up. I love them. Oh, yeah, one of the diamond paintings, the eagle. The eagle she did put googly eyes on the eagle. A googly eye. <laughs> Isn't it funny? It's funny. Anyway, so, um, I love googly eyes. Look. The reason I am on the googly eye kick. <laughs> Isn't that funny? She doesn't think they're as funny as I do. I think they're hilarious. But anyway, I will let you go. 37 minutes in. I really hope you're still watching, and I hope I'm not talking to myself. So if you are still here, leave me a comment. Let me know. I apologize for being so woohoo in this video. Um, it's the same one I was but I've, taking before my show. Yeah, same video. I'm just, yeah, it's been one of those nights. Anyway. See you again very soon. I am hoping to start filming the crochet um, videos. So if you are planning on following along um, with that kit, remember the kit that I did a while back? So this little kit, if you are planning on following along with me on those videos, make sure you get your kit ready. Um, and if you don't want this kit, you're not gonna, we're not going to be able to make the same thing because I cannot give you all of the instructions word for word on the video because it is a published pattern. So um, if you're not gonna use the kit, then you're not gonna be able to make the full bird. But if you want to just like practice the beginning stuff that I'm gonna start out with, then definitely get any yarn, any hook that goes with that. Is that lightning? Um, anyway, so be, be on the lookout for those. They're coming soon, hopefully next week. There we go again, me and my, my plans. Anyway, I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Thank you so much for your support. I love you to pieces. Bye.